relax your shoulders, you can roll your shoulders, you can roll your head around. And just listen to the breath. So start bringing your whole attention inside, inward. Let's do free cleansing breath. So inhale through the nose. Exhale. Through the mouth, fully pushing your breath out. So you literally feel your whole abdominal muscles and ribs go in. So even when you feel that you exhale, try to still push the whole air out. So inhale. Exhale. So this is where you feel her whole tummy gets into one area around belly button. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And again, fully exhale. Take a normal few breaths. And we start with Kabbalah Bhati 108 times. And then when you're ready, you can start with your own pace. Take a deep breath in, feel the shining, this burning sensations in your head, shining skull. At the same time, you may feel the burning sensation around your abdominal. Why? With Kabbalah Bhati, we activate the very deep core muscles called transversus abdominis. It's the deepest layer of our muscles that can only be trained with laughing, breathing. Not, me, not with the physical exercise. It's all about the toning of your whole abdominal wall. And this transversus abdominis is the muscles that are your core stabilizers that are protecting your lower back from any kind of injuries. So that's why you may feel the burning sensations around your tummy. And it's actually a good signal that you feel the burning sensation because that means that you are activating them. So here we're going to start with the metronome. So let's do it all together. Fully exhale, push the breath out. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pose. Exhale, two, three, four, pose. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, three, two, one. Pose, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, Four. Please tell me if the how is the pose? Is the pace? Is it too fast? 
or you want to lower it down a little bit. You okay? Because for me, it's too, for me, it's very fast, but I mean, what can I do? I need to teach you first. So we're going to the basics. So we stay, so then this space is okay, and we continue with this space. Okay, so continue breathing. So now remove, we settle and we start the practice with laying down on the ground. It is energetical um, kind of gathering or centering when you put your right leg on top of your left and right palm on top of your left palm at the bottom of your belly. And just continue with the breathing. It will kind of bring your whole energy to your midline. So you feel more centered, you feel more grounded, and you feel much more in control. And continue, let's continue breathing here. So exhale fully. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. As you inhale, bring your arms aside, lift your legs up higher. We're gonna bring our feet 45 degrees. Not heels, not in line with the hips, because when the heels are in line with the hips, you're not engaging your core, you're engaging your lower back. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it, bend your knees a little bit and bring them as close as possible to the chest and we are targeting the heels together. We're targeting to bring their palms or feet right above the palm, both shoulders on the floor. And at the same time, we're looking to the opposite direction. So exhale here, three breaths, inhale, three, two, one, palms, Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last breath. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, bring your legs to the center. And as you exhale, bring your legs to the other side again. Keep your feet above your palm. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Make sure you heels together. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two. Three, four, last breath. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, lift your legs. Usually you can do one set or you can do three sets. Let's do one more set in here. So you definitely learn this exercise. Inhale. And as you exhale, you come into the pose. And we start counting, breathing in the pose. Exhale, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Heels together, I remind you, inhale, two, three, four. Both shoulders on the ground. Exhale, two, three, four. Last breath, in. Exhale. Inhale to the center. And as you exhale, bring your legs to the other side. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three. 
Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, slowly come to the center. And as you exhale, slowly come to seated. Gather your breath. Come to seated, gather your breath. Feet together, legs together. From here, walk your sitting bones backs, sitting bones backward. Grab your ankles, so grab your feet. Roll your shoulders back. Dandasana, seated pose, preparation for forward fold. So again, you can bend the knees, engaging your legs, but you really work on lifting with the abdominal and bringing your ribs closer toward your knees. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Left hand for the crown of the head. Straight spine, pushing your lower back forward. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, left hand for the front of the body. Still keep your knees bent. As you exhale, bow forward, Paschimottanasana, forward fold. You're trying to bring your face between your shins. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Work on bringing your crown of that closer toward your toes. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, look up. And exhale, we're laying down on one side. Fully aligning on one middle line. Lift your chest, lift your ribs. Come on your fingertips as if you hug your foot, holding an egg below your palm. So your elbow and your armpit are off the air. Another hand right in front of your stomach. Feet together on the floor. Three breaths in here. Push through the heels and lift through the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, let and even more. And exhale. And now lift your legs up together. Make sure you see your toes. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last one. And exhale. Slowly inhale, lift up. And coming to the other side. So first thing done, setting up the foundation in the pose, lifting through the chest, creating more space in your ribs. Again, legs are active, you're pushing your heels as if you're standing. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Lift your legs up. Inhale. Exhale, one. Make sure you see your toes, so heels are not going back. So you're engaging your lower center. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, last one. Exhale, three. Release. Lay down on your back. Now preparing for the bridge, for the iron bridge. So, 
push your fist down, bring your shoulder blades as close as possible towards each other, and lift with the heart. Step one leg, step another leg. Lift your chest and working on engaging your legs, feet active, pushing through the heart, up. Inhale, two, three, four. Make sure toes are facing up. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Lower your hips down. Stretch your arms away your head. Inhale, lift your leg. And as you exhale, we're coming into the plow position. Close plow with the feet in your palms. Inhale. Again, check your alignment of your pelvis. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale, Pull, exhale, two more breaths in here, inhale, push, stretch the back of the, back of the body even more, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. And slowly rolling off the pose, coming and just lay down in Shavasana so you kind of relax and you allow your spine to settle down again. You can put with the feet together so you don't lose energy. You keep your centers closed or right foot on top of the left, right palm on top of the left. Each time when we close, no. This time when we open our inner groins and armpits, we're kind of losing energy. This is how the energy escapes. But when we keep our inner groins and armpits closed, we're kind of accumulating, making the energy more denser, stronger. And just continue with the normal breath. You can do with the counting, so it's good. Two more breaths in here. Slowly lifting up. We're coming into the plank pose. So next version will be three breaths in Chaturanga. You have an option of whether doing three breaths in baby Chaturanga or in full Chaturanga, okay? So your option, make sure check your alignments and again, hug everything to the middle and push all your knees to the floor. Hug the elbows, three breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, last one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Push up. And coming into three Navasanas, first is the high one. So variation one, heels in line with the knees, or the full variation, and you're really trying to lengthen up from the heart. Inhale, two feet flexor, uh, four. 
Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now slowly lowering on your abdominal, on your lower back. He looks at still 45 degrees. Arms parallel to the floor. Three breaths in here. Lower back is on the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lower your legs on the floor. Come on your elbows. Suck the belly in. Again, your feet are very much active. Low Navasana, so lower back on the ground. And here we lift our arms and lift upper body up. So we really feel engagement in the upper core. So this is where we learn the kidney loop. Ribs inside. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Lift your chest even higher. Inhale, two, three, four. Really work on tummy in. So there is no triangle tummy. Really belly button toward the spine. Flat stomach. Last one. Inhale. Again, you can support your neck. And release. Stretch, hands slowly lift up. Wide stand, so you can sit on your heels. You can sit on the block, or if you can sit between the heels, that's also okay. So inhale, belly button faces forward. We're only twisting from the upper chest. And exhale, we twist. Let's do to the right side. Tummy in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come to the center. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, you twist to the opposite side. Again, belly button facing forward. Inhale. And exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly come to the center. Bring your knees together. Step at the front of the mat, both feet together. Slightly bend your knees, bring your whole chest on top. Grab your elbows and kind of allowing your chest, your neck, your elbows to go down with the gravity. And just exhale, inhale here. You will feel an inter you may feel an interesting stretch between your shoulder blades in the thoracic spine. Just continue with the breathing here. So the weight of the body, upper body, your arms and your head is some kind of release the tension between shoulder blades and thoracic vertebrae. Two more breaths in here. Relax your neck more. Relax your shoulders and arms. The next set will be Ardha Chandrasana, Warrior Free, and Chi Close Chair Pose. So we're going to place the left palm 
on the fingertip. This will create a little bit height and stability. You can also use the block if your hamstrings are very tight. Uh, the fingers are coming in line with the outer edge of your foot. You're going to lift the left leg up and place the hips on top of another. The leg is continuation of the spine and we're stretching arm right behind our head. So bicep is stretching, touching the back of the head. Make sure the standing leg, knee and toes are facing forward. Inhale. And exhale. Again, tone your ribs in. Inhale. The back foot is active. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On inhale, lower your hips, bring them parallel to the ground square. As you exhale, lift your arms up. The back toes facing down, hips are square. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale. Open in the chest, come into one line, exhale, two, three, four. Bring your feet together, stretch your chest, so spine is parallel to the ground, and arms come in line with your ears. Inhale, two, three, four. Squeeze your knees, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Place your hands down. Just shake a little bit. And here we're ready for another side so left palm comes in line so finger and pinky uh, big thumb and pinky coming in line with the outer edge of your standing foot again knee and toes facing in one direction left from the side bring an activity externally rate, rotate your thigh out the foot is very active and creating one line here so inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last breath in here. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Place your palms on the floor, square your hips. So bring your hips parallel to the floor. Let's create a space in your left sideways and lift your arms up. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Place your feet together. Squeeze your heels together. Place your chest on top of your thighs. And stretch your arms forward. Three breaths in here. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last breath in and out. 
Place your hands on the floor. Step back to plank. From plank without moving your palms and your toes, you just lift your hips up and back to a three-legged downward facing dog. And we're holding five breaths in here, firmly grounding through all the limbs. We're grounding the floor. So nails to the floor and really activating our arches, kind of grabbing, pulling energy for the feet. Inhale. And exhale. Two. Three, four. Again, you can always soften the knees in order to create more space in your chest. Just do and feel whatever you need to create more space between your sitting bones and your fingertips. Relax your neck, relax your head. Again, this is another action where we can engage the spiral, the inner spiral. So really pulling the energy from your legs, from the earth into your power center with your hands with your arms and with your legs as well now inhale roll up to plank here we're going to do a dynamic action so we're going to do expand inhale in the pose exhale we'll be transitioning to another pose and hold inhale in the pose so it's between plank and chaturanga so we're going to inhale in plank, slowly bending elbows, lowering down to chaturanga or baby chaturanga, holding in chaturanga, inhale, exhale, push up to plank, inhale, plank, exhale, lower slowly to chaturanga. Inhale in Chaturanga. Exhale slowly lowering all the way to plank. Push the floor away. Hug everything to the midline. Inhale. And again slowly lowering all the way down to Chaturanga. Inhale here. Exhale slowly. Move all the way back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Three legged downward facing dog. Square your hips. Push the floor away. Three breaths in here. Inhale. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three. Oh, last one, inhale. Exhale. Slowly inhale, bring the knee toward your chest. And on exhale, step inside your inner palm. Bring the hips in line, bring the ribs inside. So hugging your knees and left feet to the midline. 45 degrees water. Three breaths in here. Inhale, hug, pull your legs to the midline towards each other. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Place your hands to the floor. Step your feet together. Push your hips back into three legs, into downward facing dog. And as you inhale, lift the left leg up. Again, work on squaring your hips. Pushing the heel up, toes are facing down. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four. This is one. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale. On inhale, bring the knee toward your chest. 
and step inside the left palm, big step forward. As you bring your ribs inside, again, 90 degrees, the front ankle, back foot is firmly engaged, hugging your hips, squaring, bringing the ribs inside, and lifting arms up. Three breaths in here, inhale. Firmly press your feet, ground through the big toes, and pull your feet toward the midline. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Place your hands to the floor. I'm changing my feet. You're gonna just rotate into the space between your feet. Slightly mending your knees, bringing your pelvis in line so you're, and isolating your pelvis, so your pelvis will not be, good, be, will be twisting, it will be only rotating in the upper chest. So both hands right under your head. Again, palms facing towards each other, coming on the fingertips. Softening knees, so making sure that you are holding a glass of water on your sacrum, rotating the other shoulder up and lifting so you can face here down or you can face up make sure that your hips are still square inhale exhale lengthening in the spine inhale exhale two inhale Exhale, three. Look down and change sides. So place the hand on the sacrum, twist in your chest, and then lift the arm up. Again, making sure the hips are square. Long spine, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Lower slowly again, move to the front of the mat. Step to plank. Preparations for the chin or scorpion stand. So come on your knees, knees together. Just in chin on the floor. Roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back. So variation one, lift left leg up. So we're gonna stay in here three breaths. And then we'll try to stand three breaths with a straight leg. Or we just stay six breaths in here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, continue staying here or lift the back knee off the floor, inhale, exhale, one, I'm sleeping, Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Bring both knees together, walk a little bit closer, and lift another leg up, shoulders backward. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Lifting you up to four. Inhale, it's sleeping. So continue staying here. Four. Inhale, 
Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Lay down on your bedding. Stretch your elbows forward. Stretch your whole abdominal muscles to the front. Press your pubic bone, bring your legs together. A simple basic Shalabhasana with arms off the ground. Inhale, long neck. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, lift your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Release. Slowly push up, coming to the standing pose. Feet hip distance wide. Flying chair pose. So you're gonna tuck your tailbone, keeping your knees hugging inward. Lift your heels, arms up, and think as if you're with the straight spine sliding down. Inhale, tucking your tailbone even more. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, release. Slowly come to seated. So bend your left knee, Rana Shushasana. Closing your knee, turning your torso all the way forward, knee 90 degrees. If the knee is not on the ground, you can prop something under. Grab your ankle, whether your front leg can be slightly bent. You grab the full. So inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, go all the way down. Three breaths. Working with the breath especially. Inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, two more breaths, inhale, Create more length, pushing crown of the head toward the toes, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, change your legs. Again, inhale, allocate. Find the foundation, do whatever is needed for, create the safety for the knee. And as you exhale, you're lengthening and you're coming all the way down into Janu Shrifasana, head to knee. But we really work on stretching the front body forward. Inhale. Exhale, one. Make sure you're firmly grounding for your both seating bones and for grounding, especially for the right seating bone and pressing the right knee down to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. 
Exhale, five. You lift up. And here you're ready for Shavasana. Belly down, 